So, out in the wild today, and uh, I wanted to take you guys to one of my favorite secondhand bookshops because it is such a glorious fucking day outside. Um, so we're gonna go in and uh, we're gonna take a little video of the black squirrel, and hopefully you guys like this little field trip out. you like this little tour of one of my favorite, probably my favorite, secondhand bookshop in Ottawa. 
Um, they're located on Bank Street uh, next to like House of Targ and across the street from the Mayfair, so like Bank and Sunnyside. Um, basement's a bit of a hot mess right now because apparently they are building new shelving and so all the stuff that was just sort of haphazardly piled everywhere is now in nice neat little boxes uh, stacked all over the place. So it's a little bit like a maze down here. Um, they are going to bring back like the uh, had some antique sofas and some chairs and stuff like that down here and uh it's just like sort of really quiet like music like talk radio type stuff in the basement so it's a nice place to come if you like don't want to listen to you know the espresso grinder and the music and other people's conversations um who are upstairs you know hanging out um i love this place because like they've got a really good mix of like old books classic books like they do a lot of new books as well too, which, okay, like, I understand they've got to stay relevant and things like that, so I mean it's secondhand and some new stuff, uh, which is fine. Um, they do a lot of like independent authors publishing, things like that. Uh, they make probably like the best cafe mocha in the entire city of Ottawa. I'm not just saying that, I swear to god. Uh, they also have like really good baked stuff and some lunch stuff. Um, and they used to also have like uh, a lot of like local ciders and wines and some craft beers and things like that But um, I don't know if they're still doing that their coolers empty their cooler might be broken who knows um, But uh, yeah, so that's just uh, my little tour of the black squirrel hope you guys liked it and uh, Highly encourage you to to come out here and check it out um, Book prices are really good. They've got like dollar books all the way up to like $20 books depending on what you're looking for and like literally every genre um, you could possibly think of including like French books as well too and like other foreign language books, um, kids books, art books, fiction, nonfiction, everything. Um, the only couple of little problems I have with this place is like a their horror section is not big enough. <laughs> they need more horror for sure but I mean like that's that's just me right that's just me. Um, and also something else is that, like, it's always fairly busy here. I mean, like, this is like a Tuesday afternoon in the middle of the week. Really nice day, though, but it's, it's still pretty hopping. Um, but there are a lot of times where you come and, like, you can't get a table. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they actually took away seating, and I don't know if they're going to put it back or not. Um, maybe just because of COVID, um, maybe because, like, they just have a lot more books now kind of out and about. Um, like that big center table upstairs that has all the books on it, like that you used to be able to sit at that, but not anymore. So I'm kind of hoping maybe when they have all the shelving built, you'll be able to have like some more seating here. Um, because yeah, and they're all like, you know, two person tables. So trying to find somewhere to like sit and do your work or sit and have a conversation with someone. Um, good luck with that. <laughs> Unless maybe if you come on like a Monday morning or something. Um, but on the weekend, like, mm -mm. It's not gonna happen so they don't have enough chill space um but maybe once they redo the basement who knows we shall see uh but yeah so uh next up in like the little book trip i'm probably gonna hit up uh the book bazaar um which is further north on bank street closer to my place closer to center town banking gladstone is the closest intersection for that um and that place like has a very different vibe like there's no sitting or anything like that um but it's two floors again and uh their organization is on like a non-existent level but it's a pretty cool place as well too um so i'll take you there for like the next little like field trip which will probably be you know fairly soon if uh weather permits uh so stay tuned for the next field trip and i'll see you guys later bye